In the previous tutorial, you have seen how to write first playwright with TypeScript automation test. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about recorded cursor feature of the playwright automation tool. So let's understand what is recorded cursor. Say for example, you have already automated a test case and you want to add some set of validation in between the your already automated test. Say for example, I want to add some validations here or I want to add, add some more validation at the end of the test here. So basically you can generate the custom recorded steps by using the recorded cursor feature. Now let's see how to use recorded cursor. So here I'll create a quickly one spec file called 03 underscore recorded cursor. And I'll add underscore test dot spec dot ts. That's it. So here I'll go to the second spec file. Simply I will copy the all the lines from the first test. So here I'll say don't save and I'll paste it here. The scenario is very simple. So let me explain you each and everything from the this spec file. So firstly, we are navigating to the google.com and we are searching with the playwright by tester stock. Then we are getting the playwright by tester stock playlist link. And then once we got the playlist, we are clicking on the playlist link and we are validating the web page title at the end. So if you see this one, so here we are validating at the end current page title and we will add the additional validations. Say for example, I want to validate the these two links are displayed or not. And also I want to validate the title of these two videos. So how you can insert only these two validations at the end of the test. So what you can do is you can go to the testing that is a test explorer and a playwright configurations and on the left side you are seeing a one option called record at cursor right. So after validating the title of the web page I want to validate few more things. So that's the reason I will keep my cursor after the line number 17. Here I want to add the these validations. So I'll keep the cursor here and then I will click on the recorded cursor. So after clicking on the recorded cursor, it has opened the browser, right? So what you can do is simply you can stop the recording. So you can click on this red color and it has stopped the recording. If you see here, it has stopped the recording now. So now let's navigate to the URL first. So we will go to the google.com. Then we will search with the playwright by tester stock. Then we have to click on the playlist link. And once we reach this page here, we want to validate the these two links are displayed correctly or not. And also we want to validate the video title also. 
So now once again what you need to do is now click on the record at cursor and if you see here so wherever I am hovering on the web page elements so it is highlighting right and also you got the all the required icons from the play rate on this browser also right so let's verify the these two links are displayed or not so simply clicking on the this i icon so assert visibility click on that and simply select the link which you want to validate it that's it similarly let's validate the second link as well sorry i will click on the assert visibility and then i will select the second link that's it done and if you see here in the vs code so we are able to add the validation for the two links so in the line number 20 it has generated the if you see here in the line number 20 we are validating the first link it is visible or not and then in the 21 line number we are validating the second link is visible or not so let's insert the video title also so here i'll bring back the browser here so now click on the assert text so simply i will select the or click on the first video title and uh, just you can verify this is the expected text what it is going to add into the our automation test and if you want to add any custom message you can add it and simply you need to click on the right mark and also let's validate the second video title assert click and select the second video title and click on the right mark that's it guys if you go and see here line number 22 and 23 is added for the video title validation so what i will do is so just to keep it simple so i will do a little bit of modification here so i will so if you look at the line number 22 so i will just add the so basically it is identifying the video title by using the get, get by label. So I will try to provide the full label name, whatever is visible on the web page. So if you see here, so this is a title, it is a playwright tutorial full course to 2024. So I will add a playwright tutorial full course 2024 that's it so similarly i will add the proper title here for the second video title validation as well so that's it guys so this is the actual text what we are getting it by using this actual text locator so by using this locator we are trying to get the actual text from the web page and if you see after the two contain text so this is our expected video titles we have specified so we are making sure so this video title is present in the web page so like this you can insert n number of lines wherever you need it in the already automated test right so now our test is ready let's run the test so firstly it is opening the browser it is navigated to the url then it will search with the keywords so it is clicking on the playlist link and then it will validate the 
page title and as well as the links and the video titles if you see here so our test is passing so there is no issue and if you see the our test results here also our test is passing right and also you can check the test report so if you see here so our test is working perfectly fine and there are no failures also so let's modify the test case title so here i will go back to the vs code so here i'll give the test case title as recorded cursor test so that's it so i will rerun this test once again if you see here our test is running here so now let's look at the result so our test is perfectly working fine so let me open the report as well so if you see here so our test is getting passed so this is how we can use the recorded cursor feature in the playwright automation framework